What's up, everyone? Tim Outmon, Junior here, Modern Asylum. Alcohol. This is my channel. I want to thank my 38 subscribers. Yes, thank you, 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 thank. I'm out of breath now. Thank everyone. Um, my channel's slowly building. Um, it does get a, a lot of views, which is pretty fucking cool. So, thank you guys. And it ain't from my subscribers. It's not from my subscribers uh, that watch my channel. It's people who research the alcohol. Um, and I'm guessing they skip forward to figure out if it's good or not. I don't know. I, the analytics aren't very precise on details. So my assumption is that people and go, okay, oh, it's good. And then they pick it up and they try it. Or they've already tried it. And anyways, the point is, today I got something for you. I have already tried one of these. But they only sell one in the store. I can't find the other two. And so I bought a watch variety pack. Yes. And I've only seen previews of this advertised on Hulu when they're playing their commercials. Yes, I got the cheap Hulu because I don't mind sitting through a fucking one minute fucking commercial. It doesn't bother me. I grew up in that era of commercials. So I'm going to say me, what is it, 10 bucks um, to not I'm going to save me 10 bucks to watch previews because I don't care. Plus, I found some good alcohols during those commercial times. Anyway, let's crack this bitch open and see what we fucking got. Oh, this thing is a bitch. Alright, so i seen the commercial for this. Um, and I really wanted to fucking try it because I like spicy shit. I do. I love it. Spicy. I try to go for spicy shit all the time. Um, I can't handle like extreme stuff. Um, like I went to this fucking Indian restaurant up in Salem. And I was like, make it fucking hot. Yeah. And it was too fucking hot. I couldn't enjoy my food. I mean, I had two. Um, I had seconds of it. But I mean, I was fucking dying. Then I went to Buffalo Wild Wings. I was like, give me the hottest shit you got. Because that's why I went there. I'm like, this is hot. I got to try it. And it was like, it first opened over here up in Corvallis. And I was like, all right, let's take it. So, went there. And I was on fire. My brain was melting. I couldn't put together a coherent sentence. The beer didn't help. The fucking celery and carrots didn't fucking help. I was just ooh, like a fucking zombie. Um, so... There's a certain level and tolerance that I can handle, but I do eat a lot of spicy and hot foods. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I eat tapatio on fucking everything, which isn't the spiciest at all. I know that. I get it. Um, but I eat it on fucking everything. In my spaghetti, um, in my chicken alfredo. On my everything, I'm fucking eating on everything. Mac and cheese. Um, I also, you know, I eat whoosh, straw made salsa. And this is like extra fucking hot, and he uses a uh, habanero and ghost peppers in this shit. Um, I'm not sure if he, whichever season, if certain things are in season, he kind of makes me up. But there's st it's still fucking spicy. It's hot as fuck. Most people are like they're just on fire the entire time and I'm on fire the entire time it's pretty good it doesn't it doesn't come out fiery so lucky there right but anyways I'm a huge fan of spicy shit huge fan uh, when I eat my pizza I fucking just open the spoon pour on my red pepper flakes and just cake the pizza like just a big thick layer of red peppers or red crushed red peppers um, so, I mean, I enjoy spicy type foods. 
But there is a, I do have a tolerance. I do. And it, there's a line there somewhere. Which reminds me, there's this one time, it was like a week. And for some reason, I couldn't eat anything spicy. Nothing. Anything spicy was burning the fuck out of my tongue. And I have no idea why that was happening. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? My body is no longer liking to eat fucking spicy food. I also apologize for the uh, strobe light. So if you guys are prone to seizures and you get one while watching my video, I deeply am sorry. Um, if you die accidentally while watching one of my videos because you had a seizure, I apologize to your family. Anyway, so whoosh, Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer jumping on the bandwagon. These guys tried to up the game by throwing the word organic in there. This is spicy pineapple. So I was fucking just right off the commercial. And I was like, I got to try that. That looks fucking delicious. And so I'm so thankful that I found this variety pack. 80 calories. Um, zero sugar, zero carbs. We are going to get into it right now. Let's fucking do it. Alright. I'm excited, you guys. I'm like super fucking stoked. Okay. Ooh. It's like a it smells like a like a cream creamy pineapple. Like an orange sickle mix of the pineapple. That's amazing. Let's give her a taste, see what we get. <sighs> hmm. One more, one more. We're going to do one more. This variety pack, by the way, was nineteen ninety five plus deposit, and it's a twelve pack of Slims, four percent alcohol by volume, every fucking can. Is it worth it? That's to be determined. So this has absolutely no flavor. It smells amazing though. So, if you can like somehow pour it in something and turn it into some kind of like a candle or an Etsy and heat it up and try to get that scent to fumigate throughout your entire house, perfect. As far as drinking it goes, it's garbage. No spice, doesn't taste like pineapple. It's not fruity at all. And you're literally tasting water that has maybe a touch of pepper in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. Steer clear. And there's a reason that cucumber lime is the only one they sell in stores in a 24 ounce or whatever the fuck ounce it is. All right. Wrong side. Strong side. All right. Anyways. <coughs> Excuse me. I have not seen this one advertised at all. I only seen it in the preview very briefly when they show all three set up like this and with the cucumber lime in the front. And then you just catch a glimpse of the one on the left when you're watching your TV. And that, my friends, is whoosh. Peach pear, okay? Let's fucking hope this one has some fucking flavor. The cucumber lime was great. Um, as far as seltzer goes. So, let's fucking get into this one. Sh shall we? Shall we? You? You, you? you? you over there. Come over here. You. Come here. Tom, come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. So don't be shy. What the fuck? Right, they, don't, they don't. They don't want. They don't want a part of this. 
Woo! Damn! I had high hopes for that fucking pineapple, and that just went. There was not even an incline. That thing just didn't even take off from the fucking airport. It just crashed as soon as it turned the fucking ignition on. As soon as the jet engines fired up, that thing crashed. This all oh, smells amazing. It smells exactly like peach rings taste. Exactly like peach rings taste. Let's give her a chug. Mm. We've been here before, guys. You taste it, but it doesn't gasm in your mouth. Okay? There's not 10 dudes unloading in your mouth. It's half of, of a... It's half. It's, it's weak. It's nothing. So, uh... Do not buy, do not buy, no, don't, I highly recommend that you do not buy the variety pack. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. No, really. Don't fucking buy the variety pack. Buy the cu cucumber lime. It's the only one. And hell, Michelob can like fix the flavor on these other two. Don't buy them. Just stick with the cucumber lime. It's good. The other flavors taste like shit. No, they don't really taste like anything at all. Anyways, that's a review. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry to chat your ears off there in the beginning. Now, fuck off.